Our next step in part two of our video is to create a best fit line, which we call the trend line in Microsoft Excel. And the way we do that is that we simply right click on one of the data points. And we select add trend line. And in this case, we the data looks like it's linear, so we're going to pick a linear uh, trend line. We're going to check the box that says display the equation on the chart. And we're going to display the R squared value on the chart, so check that box. We click close. And we'll drag our equation over to the upper left-hand corner so we can see it. And we now see that we have an equation for the trend line and an R squared value, both of which we'll talk about later. Um, one thing we can do now is right click on the uh, equation and select format trend line label. Pick number and we can pick the number of decimal places. I'll pick four. So the accuracy to four places and click close. And we now have generated a trend line for our data, for our Da Vinci data, if you remember, that was measuring the, uh, comparing the height uh, of a person to the radius bone in their arm. Our equation is y equals 1.1493x plus 55.7913.